The battle over how to solve California's crime epidemic continues as a vote on legislation that was supposed to be taken today in Sacramento has been postponed to a later date. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein shares why. Will. Well, Michael, that legislation has bipartisan support, as does a ballot measure to be tougher on crime. But amendments to the legislation are potentially forcing Californians to pick one or the other. There's the perception that crime in California is out of control. That perception comes from local break-ins right here in Bakersfield in viral social media clips posted and shared in the thousands over the last few years. So what needs to change? From a legislative and prosecution perspective, law enforcement needs to get ahead of these problems, arrest individuals that are engaged in these brazen theft acts, and really get control of the situation. Two bipartisan solutions are currently on the table. One is a ballot measure that would reclassify several crimes from misdemeanors to felonies. The other is a series of bills aiding law enforcement and prosecutors in the state capitol. The two work hand in hand, right, wrong. Sitting in the way of solutions are believed to be partisan politics by Democrat leadership in Sacramento. Poison pill plan has always been a bad idea. Poison pills have been added to the Sacramento legislation, meaning if the ballot measure is passed by California voters, the Sacramento legislation dies. I think that lawmakers have heard from their constituents and certainly from DAs and sheriffs and police chiefs that this isn't the kind of political gamesmanship that people want to see. So much so that California's entire Republican congressional delegation in Washington, D.C. is calling out the, quote, cynical political scheming by Democrats in the State House for potentially making voters choose one or the other. I think it's frustrating for average Californians to try to figure out what's going on. While both started as bipartisan solutions, political strategist Rob Setzman says Democrats are worried Republicans could benefit from the measure passing. Democrats are concerned that this measure could tilt turnout that'd be more favorable to Republican candidates. Prison overcrowding is a real issue, and a lot of people in California don't want our prisons filled with people that have mental health issues or drug problems. The measure does not just crack down on retail crime, but drug crime as well. While many Democrat mayors support the ballot measure, leading Democrats in Sacramento are concerned that the measure will be too harsh on criminals with a track record of drug trafficking and usage, a worry that prisons will once again become overcrowded. Yellow County District Attorney Jeff Reisig thinks his approach to tackling the fentanyl crisis is appropriate. You can call it tough love. Uh, whatever you want to call it, but what we're doing right now in California is not working, and most people would agree with that. Kern County Representative David Valdeo signed that letter from California's Republican delegation, and then he provided Eyewitness News Now with this statement on the poison pill legislation and the potential competing ballot initiative in part. It's disappointing, but sadly not surprising that Governor Newsom and liberals in Sacramento are attempting to undermine the will of Central Valley residents who want parts of Prop 47 repealed. Now, for Valadeo's full statement, that California GOP delegation letter, and most importantly, updates on all things reforming 47, head to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. In studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.